<laughs> Hi, welcome to Decorating Date Night Choice Behind the Camera. I'm Dina, and we're here with Terry and Bruce Breyer. And we are in Middletown, Maryland, to do some decorating advice, kind of some home projects that are going on. What do you do first? Are we doing the right order, the right color scheme? So we're going to go through all of that, and then you can weigh in, too, as always. What episode is this? Do you remember? It's season 2, episode 9, 10, somewhere in there. Somewhere 11, around there. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing a project in the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so let's go into the bathroom and see what we got going on. And we got some people to jump in. So Jennifer, hi. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. Michelle Hall, Tommy Jordan, Diana right. McLemore. Hey, guys. Okay, so now here... So what you're wanting to do is keep everything where it is. So the floor, the flight, the layout, the floor plan and layout is all the same, right? Yes. So yes. tub is staying here, toilet's going to stay here, yes. vanity's going to stay here. So one of the things that you had already picked out was paint color. Yes. So what paint color are you thinking that you want to do? Uh, Adler gray. Okay, so Adler gray. Adler gray is going to go on the wall. That's this mid-tone color. Now, what are you thinking you want to do with this vanity? We uh, don't know. Okay. Really? <laughs> it will either be painted mm -hmm. white or replaced. Okay. And Are you keeping this white. countertop? No. no. Okay. No. Because that's if one you the, did that's this, that's fail. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought if you're doing this white, this is going to look awful. No, no. <laughs> okay, but here's a suggestion. Let's just say, like, oh my gosh, I don't know that I can afford to do this just yet. It's neutral enough. It's fine. It's not leaking, right? Well... Is it? Well, okay. it's worn out. Okay, yeah. it's worn out. Thank you for showing that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say... That's why we're replacing it. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Let's just say you're doing this on the wall. Mm -hmm. What I would do is take this color and mm -hmm. add just even one step deeper, which they could easily do mm -hmm. at the store, and do that on your vanity. Because okay. then it brings just a nice kind of... Your eye then okay. just kind of rolls uh, down. Okay. Because when you have a space that is kind of... Everything's kind of all in one mm -hmm. area, which is fine. It's great for user-friendly. You want to make sure that your, your eye is visually going to keep going. It's not going to get stuck in one spot. So by doing that, you're able to do that. Now, I definitely say trim is all white, nice pop mm -hmm. of white, because you want to have that contrast mm -hmm. between the wall color and the trim. So that would be great. That painting white, perfect. Yes, yes. Countertop? Countertop, so here's the thing. When you do something like this, mm -hmm. you have such freedom to do whatever you want. So you can pick a solid surface like this, mm -hmm. but they've got patterns, mm -hmm. they've got... So you can literally bring this paint chip with you to the store and just kind of hold it up to different samples and pick whatever you want. Okay. That's the freedom that allows you to do that. And quartz is a absolutely, good one. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. A Caesar stone, a quartz. You know, are you doing the same thing where you've got the bowl incorporated to Most likely, the, yes. Okay, yes. so that I think would be the absolute best plan. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, you can write that yeah. down. But just bring this with you. You know, you can take your measurements with you. And I just, that would be stunning mm -hmm. right here. Okay. I mean, absolutely stunning when you've got this on the wall. But you see how there's not quite enough right. contrast? Right. right. So you're going to want to do one step above. I usually say when you've got, let's say, a level one, you want to go two steps. Now, if you did this on the wall and this, um, that would be enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to have always two step. steps in between. Okay. So one you, step above this Exactly. One. Which they might have to then create, which is mm -hmm. not a problem for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a big deal. Is that there? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Sherwin That's Sherwin-Williams. Williams. Perfect. Yeah, they'll totally... And actually, I've got my Sherwin-Williams in the car. I could even... Um, Pick a you know another color okay. if you want. Like mm -hmm. literally, like this is the one you want. Mm -hmm. But that should not be hard for them to do. But yeah, that would be beautiful. Marissa Burton's watching. She says, "Hey, Hi, Dina Marissa. and Troy." Hi, That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Don Hartman. Hi, Don. Um, Susan Clark. Okay. Hi, Susan. Cindy Abrams. So doors again. Everything's going to be the White. same. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Perfect. Right. Okay. Right. And you know you never ever paint a closet a color right. other than white because right. it changes your clothes, how you're clothes, the tone of them. When, so you, when you're picking another up. Another question we clothes. had was yeah. if, well, not if or when, but mm -hmm. when, we mm -hmm. hope, we get to the shower uh -huh. and the floor, uh -huh. which comes mm -hmm. first if we have to do it in stages? 
Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. So the shower, you meaning you're going to rip out the tile? Yeah, yeah what we're hoping uh -huh. is uh, not necessarily a tub in the okay. future, oh, but we'll like, yeah, like a walk-in <laughs> shower. Oh, okay. So okay. It, it may be coming out to you, here. Oh, you and want to do the shower, shower first. Yeah. Shower you first, definitely okay. want to do the shower first because you okay. want to know you're going to tile up to mm -hmm. okay. that point. So the shower has to go first. Optimally, you'd want to do that at the same time, mm -hmm. okay. that would probably be the use. But fortunately, you don't have tile right now, right. so you can literally cut this okay. and go up to the point. Okay. If you had tile on the floor and you were gonna have to dig All that right. out, I'd be like, you've gotta do it at the same time. Okay. But you've bought yourself a lot more leeway by okay. doing doing it this way and okay. having the bottle. At the same time, uh -huh. if we never get to that, or get to that when we're old and gray, sure. her, right. um, <laughs> since it's not tile, if we deem, yeah, we have to replace the vinyl. Right. We could replace the vinyl. Right. It's not that big a deal. I and wouldn't do tile. No, wouldn't do no. tile. No, yes. I'd replace it with vinyl. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Not a problem. Right. Not a problem. Because right. vinyl is so much easier right. to right. replace. And if you did the vinyl squares, let's just say. True. Then you can replace however many squares mm -hmm. and not say you loved it and then you didn't want to even replace the vinyl on the floor, then you could just cut, cut. out where you needed. Okay. 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 So okay. that's also a strong true. possibility. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, like they like did in the downstairs bathroom true and they're very classy looking oh, not yeah. like it doesn't look like the right. traditional vinyl right. that mm -hmm. you're used right, to right. it's on a roll and you mm -hmm. have, you know they really kind of come a long way with that product so okay. all right so yeah so this too if you I would counsel against the white I really would because white vanities tend to not look white mm. after not too long mm -hmm. and it's gonna if you're like me it's it always bothers me when something's intended to be a certain color and it doesn't say that color because I'm constantly having and it's not that you're dirty or anything. Clearly, you're not dirty, but it's just a matter of everyday wear. It sure. just doesn't stay white. This is up and out of the way. Mm -hmm. that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that's not a problem. But I just really think the two steps deeper than a wall would be stunning on that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind. Yep. You do not have to follow my advice. I just give it. <laughs> It's free. It is. <laughs> Robin Hemp is on. Good. Uh, Pat. I would say good Alcock. morning. I'm so used to saying Pat good says morning. hi, guys. Hi, Pat. Oh, okay. So she was talking about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so what were you talking about? The countertop. The countertop. You can then. do a pattern. Yeah, you, can do a pattern. you can do a flex stone. You know, mm -hmm. they have the flex stones. Of, swirls. Um, swirl. Anything you want. Mm -hmm. You've got so much more flexibility on what you're doing as far as mm -hmm. colors, patterns. Go wild. Sure. Like you see something you love, go for it. Because everything else around it is neutral and yeah. just kind of provides that, um, you know, that, mm -hmm. that base. Right, right. Yeah. No polka dots, but other than that. No, you can do polka dots well, if no, that's what no, you're into. No, <laughs> I happen to like polka dots, although I've never seen that Not in the camera top. <laughs> Any other questions in here? So then what about the flooring? Well, um, we talked what, about that. What, the color. Vinyl squares. Oh, color. It just depends on what I would do is get all of your painting done. And then I would go to the store, get samples, bring it into the space, mm -hmm. get your vinyl squares, pick out what you like, bring, your, bring this with you so that you know kind of what you're going with. But I would do something that has these tones and also some whites so that you can, it can bounce off of mm -hmm. the different, you know, okay. the trim. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with a product like vinyl, you don't have to worry about the getting really dirty and dingy like you do just in paint, because they're made for that. Right. And you're not going to be tromping around here with mud and all that kind of stuff. It was if it was, you know, downstairs in your main traffic area, I wouldn't do anything that has a lot of lighter tones because that will <laughs> start to look dingy. But up in your bathroom, you can definitely get away with the dark and the light as far as a pattern on the floor. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess speaking of dingy, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the high traffic anything area. Else, anything else in here that you, you know, do you want to talk about this at all? This oh, is okay. originally what you were thinking about. Well, this is this dry, was for the walk-in shower. Okay, yeah. so this would go where? On the on the this wall? was the wall. This is the, wall. This yeah. is the floor. Okay. of the shower. Gotcha. Where's that paint sample that you're doing in there? I just want to see that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And do mm -hmm. you see then, when you do your vanity two steps deeper, what it's going to do is mm -hmm. pick up the different tones in here, mm -hmm. and that just becomes, everything comes together. And okay. you're like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And it would be absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. 
Okay. So originally you were thinking about doing this on the floor, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we talked about earlier is that the tones are a little bit different. And when you're doing everything in a space that's everything is together, where you've got four walls closing it in, you want to make sure that your tones are matching up. So you're not opening up into like your kitchen into the family room where you've got two spaces connected but they're separate. Mm -hmm. There you can get away with different tones. But when you've got a confined space, the tones have to match. So what we're talking about is this has a warm tone with the browns. This has a cool tone with the greens. So that won't work together. It'll be just enough off that you'll be in the space and you'll be like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like it. But it won't be like, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. nailed it. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Okay. So if you decide you want to go in this route, you just want to pick something that has a cool undertone, more of the green brown, which okay. I know sounds strange, sure. but they yeah. actually do have with the green brown undertone as opposed to a red brown. Okay. That's the difference. And that'll make it... Um, and I could always go with you to the store. I love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's always so much fun. I could meet you there and be like, Tina, I am at Home Depot. Can you come? <laughs> sure, I'll be there at five. <laughs> Cousin Lisa's watching. Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, that's great. Oh, oh, and per, this is all of your, the brush, all the hardware. Perfect. Yeah, that's, perfect. That's like the towel bar. Yeah, and perfect. That all works. And again, and you see how you're hey. all in your cool tones, but then you bring this and you're like, oh, okay. So yeah, this works. This is okay. great. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Well done. Look at okay. you, Miss <laughs> Designer. Well done. I don't know if you heard me, Adina Patrizio, is that how you say oh, it? Oh, yes, that is Joni's niece. Oh, okay, and Gabriella Fudel? Oh, Gabriella, Mike and Gabriella. Hi, Gabriella. Oh, okay, hey. <laughs> I know who that is. Yes, you do. Oh, I love that. Where did you get that? What? I love this piece. Oh, no, I love this, that. This. My father-in-law. I love yeah. that. Oh, yeah. You made it? So that was Cool. Yeah. I like that. that. Okay, so kitchen is next, right? Okay. Um, yes. All right, that, so what do we want to talk about first? Well, and family room? this, um, yeah. This okay. wall, because my brother-in-law is coming. He's going to paint. Okay. And so you were thinking? Papercraft. Papercraft. So the lighter. Yeah. Okay. What are you... So, and then what color trim are you doing? Again, white. Okay. So well, let me, okay. yeah, it is okay. Let me just see. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. This is doing nothing for me at all. This is much better. Now, if you don't want to go this dark, do in between these two. Do you see how this is just kind of like, why did they bother painting the walls? But it's not going mm -hmm. against that. It's going against, it's on the red. I understand. Okay. But you're also going to, you're going to be able to see the white trim. You know, so I just think. Do you see? It looks like it's white. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you see all I, of this. I guess from here. the the here's my comment. Yeah. I remember when I first painted mm -hmm. this. Right. This is the color that was on the wall. Okay. All right. The contractor color. Right. I understand. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. So I painted the green on the yep. wall, and those walls there, the red, mm -hmm. was still the contractor okay. color. Right. And I thought, oh, I just love it. I just, I love the contrast. Right. And maybe I should just leave it and not paint the red. Okay. So you're thinking you're going to keep that wall red, but no, just no, no, no. 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 Oh, oh, oh. She no. liked the contractor white uh, against oh, the green. I liked, oh, 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 I, oh, liked, I, understand. I liked okay. the the green gotcha. and the contractor oh, gotcha, white gotcha. against it. I understand. So that's okay. kind of what I was thinking. Well, I should go back to because now it's I'm okay. I'm. So then getting, you're, we're getting rid of the red. I gotcha. We're getting rid of the okay, red. I gotcha. So all right, then I would just do. So white. I thought, well. I would, mm, instead of maybe going back to the contractor, here's something that's maybe not quite as contractor. offensive right. as, <laughs> no, uh, as that. That's, you know, that's it's, not, that's it's, not, it's something a little more neutral. And, it's not uh, offensive. I would, but then I, th I thought, well, if I'm going to do, you know. Right. But you know how hard it is to find a color that's called white? Oh, I do. Oh, there's <laughs> like yeah. a million shades. Yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's let's look There's at those all the whites real quick. But the these I think were the whites that I thought maybe would be See, the, they're the really more. Whites. But they're not really whites though. Yeah. Like here's more of a white. Okay, so this is actually the color I would pick because it's closest to that. And what I would do then is just make sure you do this in a mat and then it'll it'll provide the contrast because your trim is gonna be a gloss. Okay. So I would actually do this. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen with this. It's just gonna end up looking like you couldn't find the right white. Like it's just, I, I mean, I'm doing that sounds harsh. <laughs> well, well, you don't know how many whites we looked at. Exactly, you have a and the right then white. you're gonna be like, I just think or it's... Or an eternal shadow is going to be on the wall. Yeah. Okay. It's just going to end up looking dingy instead of that crisp against the red that you want. Or against, uh -huh. against the green, rather, That's that you pretty. want. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's pretty That'd ever. be bad. So let me show you um, here. Let me show you right here. Look at that. Now that is crisp. Oops, see what mm -hmm. oh, I Gabriella says, hi, guys. Isn't Carrie is, Harvey is watching. Hello, my hi, sister. Hi, Carrie. Yeah, Ooh, Vicky. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. See, that works. Mm -hmm. And let me show you. Where's the other one that you had? Right here. <laughs> <It's stuck. laughs> Do you see how that's just kind of like, eh. it's not, it's not giving you that pop. It's almost like it's the wrong tone. Look at that. Uh huh. Do you see that? Yeah. I just think this is a much better option. I just think that this is just a little bit too meh. It's your house, obviously. Right. <laughs> so, you know, you can do with what you want. Um, but that would be. And the. Mm, this if, is it. if I. Okay, yeah, well, nice. then if I do that. Mm -hmm. could, because what I'm also going to do is I was not going to have. Um, a separate color for the door okay. either. I was, okay. I was going to go back trim to the white. it out with with a trim and a white door. Okay. Yeah. Separately. So, so I guess if I did that, then totally, it would all be yeah. It would all be right. the same color. Right. Which is fine. Um, the difference it would be is that this would be matte. This would be gloss. So it would provide some difference as far as the tones. Because you always, okay. you always, yeah, you typically do a wall color in a mat, okay, or the one step up eggshell, and then you'll do your trim and your door is typically in a gloss so that we can wipe them and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Not a semi gloss. I would do a gloss to give you that contrast. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can do a semi gloss. I'm not saying that you can't. That's totally up to you. It would just provide more of the contrast when you've got. The same color basically mm -hmm. I typically recommend doing a gloss with a matte so that it gives you that oh there is that difference it just makes it more fun and visually pleasing to the eye so what would you do upstairs because we have the same thing upstairs totally. where we could do the same where thing. we're doing oh I don't know if I brought it down where okay. we're doing the Adler gray okay. and then our whites yeah. trim and the, right. the doors right are going to be are going to be white yep. so you would you do, do that in a gloss that also? doesn't matter because they're two separate colors I would definitely do a gloss on your doors because you can write them down whether it be a semi gloss or a higher gloss that's up to you mm -hmm. because you've got two different colors you've got the contrast with the colors already okay. if, does that make sense okay. yeah okay I write on that. Michael yeah, Kramer is watching you. now they have the washable hey, mats mm -hmm. they'll know exactly what you tell them you want to have a mat that you can wipe okay and then they'll be like oh yeah you want the blah 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 yeah. right. and which water is a gloss that's choice. Mine's empty. And that we Which would only need a quart. That could be yours. <laughs> okay. we, we, don't, we don't only need a quart for that then. Just probably. Mm-hmm. Again, ultimately. By the way, this is May. And these flowers are from Christmas. You know, whatever <laughs> colors you want. But I would do I would do a white. I just think it would be. It's amazing beautiful. that they're still Hanging in there to some degree. Okay. Yeah. Literally hanging in there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, All right. So, so, so that's paint. So that now paints. we're on to flooring. Okay. Flooring. Yeah. Oh, oh. Just, okay. And we don't know when we're going to do okay. it, but we were just asking about. Mm -hmm. You've got the hardwood. Continuity. Right. right. So, what do you recommend? Okay. I would recommend because you've got 
a space that has some sort of water, potentially, because mm -hmm. you've got a, a refrigerator that could decide, the ice cube maker could leak, or you've got a leak under the faucet. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend ever doing hardwood in a kitchen. That's me. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people do hardwoods, that's fine with them. I've had clients insist on hardwood. I'm like, that's okay, I just need to present all the facts. Mm -hmm. Now, they do have like the, um, uh, what do I call it? Product that you have upstairs that looks like wood, mm -hmm. but it's a tile. Mm -hmm. That I think would be stunning in here throughout, and then an area rug in here to warm up the space. Mm -hmm. And you could do a big area rug because then what that does is it connects this area with that area and doesn't give you any sort of visual separation, okay. and it makes everything look just that much okay. elongated. All right. So I would pick that product, a you know a tile wood or a wood looking tile on the. Now, when you say tile, do you mm -hmm. mean stone tile, vinyl tile? But that's up to you. Okay. That's totally up to you. Okay. You can look at the that upstairs is a ceramic. That's a ceramic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you would not remove this. Not if you want to keep it. Okay. I mean, do you want to keep that? Because the other option is whatever you do in here, you run it here, mm -hmm. and then yeah. this becomes carpet. Mm -hmm. And that's fine too. I just don't want to have so many different products going right. on right. Exactly. where everything comes together. So two products we're gonna use, whether or not you keep this here and this, that becomes your two products. Mm -hmm. Or the carpet and then everything here mm -hmm. is one. So that's your that's your call. And there really is no right or wrong. Yeah, a bigger selling point? Um, I would say a bigger selling point, you're not gonna like this, but would be to have whatever is in here continue into here. You're right. Now, for my bang for the buck, I don't want hardwood by my front window where people are tromping in because then I always have to worry about that warping mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I would do your tile or whatever product that looks like hardwood in through here and bring it in through here. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the beauty of that is Whenever you have a door and you see into a long space, right. your products actually should run this way, but I know they probably couldn't have because of right. the joists. Sure. But when you have a tile or anything other than a hardwood, you can lay it pretty much any way you want. Right. So that then gives you the flexibility of being able to run it with the house so that it brings with you the into the home. So your flooring actually invites you into the home. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I would do. So yeah, that might be years down the road that you do that. But yeah, I would probably do whatever product you're gonna do in here, throughout here, and then keep this carpet. All right, well, in lieu of the fact that this is the floor above perhaps any others that we have to replace because the vinyl, you know, I mean, there's the, the gloss is gone in places, okay. it's digging into the plastic, gotcha. it's pulling up, so this one has to go So you soon. can do, they have the vinyl squares that look like wood, that look mm -hmm. like, you yeah. can do, so I guess what I'm getting at, whatever product you're gonna put in here, do it in there right. and then leave this carpet. Right. Matter of fact, this carpet looks in great shape. You don't even have to change the carpet. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, that's not oh, essential. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just whatever floor, this is neutral. This, for, for a resale, this isn't like, oh my gosh, they have pink carpet in their family room. What were they thinking? Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's so neutral that mm -hmm. that's, that's fine. That's what people want for a resale. They don't want to go into the room and have purple walls. Right. They're like, oh my gosh, now or I got it. Well, or red. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. If somebody's yeah. going to come in, we, we they might about. love it and be like, oh my gosh, I love that red. I mm -hmm. can't believe she picked my color. Mm -hmm. What are the odds I have to have this house? So. Pretty slim. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. It only takes one. It only takes one. <laughs> But yes, I would definitely pick whatever. Jenna Wimsatz joined us as well. Who? Jenna. Oh, hi. How are you? Congratulations, Miss Graduate. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So then you were saying, um, if we'll turn back to this. Yes. The, um, the cabinets. Uh -huh. um, the so combination cabinets. combination of veneer and real wood. Okay. So what's interesting about the cabinets is they do have real wood. But over here, you're like, oh, that's wood, and it's not. It's a veneer. So what they make at your Home Depot, your Lowe's, your big box stores, is they make what they call skins, and they typically you would put them on the outside to, you know, hide, uh, you know, the press wood. Sometimes cabinets are made out of press wood right. now, right. sadly. So um, at least you don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> but they make oak skins. It's actual oak, but it's really, really thin. Mm -hmm. 
and you can get them either naked or different colors and you're gonna cut it to size and then use your wood glue and put it on there so that you don't have a veneer, you actually have a wood product okay. that wow. you can stain, you can paint. So here's what I'm getting at. Let's just say, you're like, you know what? I'm done with the blonde. I don't like it with my fireplace mantle, which I love. I wanna maybe paint it. You can do that and then paint the skin. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do, as you know, Bruce, this can be lightly sanded right. and you can restain it. Sure. A darker color, whatever you want to do it to match with the mantle. The mantle's beautiful, by the way. And I would actually want to bring that tone to this side. Because mm -hmm. then what it does, when you have spaces that you can see from one to the other, I call that shared real estate, mm -hmm. you want to then be able to combine the spaces visually with color. So that's what I would do, is I would bring that tone in here. Mm -hmm. And then I would change my hardware to be my brush nickel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. definitely. Easy thing. Yeah, the only reason I have done it. the black mm -hmm. was because of all my black on Sure. Oh, oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Don't but, misunderstand. So, it's not bad. So but I, if, was, I actually was just going to ask okay. you about that. Yeah. Would you, definitely. What would you do? Especially if you're going to bring in that wood tone mm -hmm. okay. because the nickel against that would just be prettier. Mm -hmm. okay. The black you're not even going to see. Okay. You know, and that is a look too. Some people don't want to see the hardware. I get that. But I think for what you're doing here, you've got your faucet, you've got your, this whole area is the brush nickel. Mm -hmm. I would just bring it onto the okay. hardware. All right. Yeah. Okay, so now that leads us to countertop, countertop. surface, which is pulling away, yep. right. which it wasn't. There's a great product, it's an epoxy that you paint on Formica. Mm -hmm. One of my other clients had done that and it looks spectacular, but you have to have like really good condition. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so this has a lot of stains. And, yep. and that um, yeah. stains it would cover, but uh, as far as pulling away, it can't be right. that because right. it's that's structural. Yeah, it's structural. Probably. So okay, so here are your options. You've got the different Caesar stones, your Sile stone. You've got all those different countertop options, right. and then you're, you you're have talking your about, you're talking about. Yeah. I know yeah. quartz. I know yes. Nart, seeps, what, what uh, Caesar these? stone is a quartz. It's just a brand. And oh, I okay. Didn't, I didn't hear you. Say Caesar what the, stone. What the other? What oh, after that? One. Um, said quartz, sil oh, Sile stone. Same thing. It's okay. a brand of okay. quartz product. It's a man-made product. Okay, okay. all right. We're all right. talking about so that. So we're talking. Yes, man-made man versus. What God gives us, which yes, okay. I tend to always go towards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a sucker for stone. Mm -hmm. So I tend to go towards the granite. And now, because these other products are so popular, they're actually more expensive than your baseline um, granites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will actually save money if you go with a granite as opposed to the other. And what about a quartz? You keep on hearing that. Uh on granite, you have to be careful the stains and so okay. forth. You don't have to be careful. Or you have granite. to seal and reseal. Okay. So, <laughs> so here's sealing. Sealing is you clean it. You literally put on a rag and you wipe it down like you would wipe your countertop mm -hmm. all the time anyway. You need to do it every six months and you literally wipe down your countertop. That's it. You don't have to wait for it to dry. You don't have to wait for it to cure. That's all you have to do. Now I will tell you the lighter the stone, the more porous the stone, therefore it does tend to hold any sort of staining, if you will. Mm -hmm. So if you were to drop tomato sauce on there, you'd want to wipe it up quicker because stone's porous. Mm -hmm. So that's why you do want to seal it every now and then. Now, if you go with a darker um, type of a stone, it's pretty much indestructible. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna see a stain because it's a darker stone. Or if you go with something that has a lot of movement, I love mm -hmm. a lot of the, the granites that have a lot going on yeah. because they hide a plethora of everything. Especially if there's tomato stain swirl. Yeah, there you <laughs> okay. go. I can find tomato stain swirl. I mean, we've had granite now for over 15 years, and I love it. Okay. You can cut on it. You can chop on it. You can, you know, the only thing that will cut stone is a stone. So, like, your diamond ring will cut the stone. Okay. Now, if you take a sledgehammer, yeah, you're going to break <laughs> yeah, the stone. Yeah, that's how you I don't think anyone, you know, and if you decide no. you want to take your saw and that you chop down your oh, trees yeah. with, yeah, you're probably going to do a little bit of damage. You might do more damage to the saw than right. the, mm -hmm. So I tend to go towards granite um, for, you know, I just think it's more beautiful. You cannot capture the beauty of a natural stone. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Um, you could do a concrete countertop, which is mm -hmm. very hip, very now, pretty costly, mm -hmm. but you could do something like that. 
and then you could stand. And then I, then I remind, was reminded of that. All right, so mm -hmm. countertops. Yes. Um, for my kid, yeah. When you get a heavier stone like that, do you have to understand the rating of your countertops? Can you your get cabinets. a stone? Your cabinets. No, no, no. no. It's not going to collapse a cabinet. No. That would be a fun day. Oh my gosh, if, that, if it collapses your cabinet, you need to call the builder and be like, dude, what were you thinking putting me you know, with a cardboard, cardboard countertop? Okay. Because basically right. that's what it is. No, you should do. Do you have a recommendation of where to go? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about that later. Um, but okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't, they don't promote anything don't that I promote, promote so uh, I should hey, get but the they free plug. <laughs> No, I just, you know, if they, if they supported the Marriage Resource Center, yeah, I'd be happy to give them a plug. Not that they don't support it, but you know what mm. I mean. And they can pick the kind of edge they want. I don't know. Yeah, that's the other thing. Well, you can do that, though, with the Caesar Stone and a Sile Stone. You can yeah, but not with Formica. Edge. No, not with Formica. Well, that one now, they do really? have a little bit more. Yeah. You can pick the, the different types sure. of edges mm -hmm. that you yeah. want. Sharp I wouldn't edges. get too fancy. I no. would do, probably just do a bull nose mm -hmm. yeah. or a yeah. quarter turn. Just right. Keep it simple. You don't need to go crazy. No. You know, where I tend to tell people, hey, you want to do a fancier edge is if they had a center island. And I would just do it around the island mm -hmm. to offset it a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. And that's all. So, yeah. This is going to be exciting. All right. Yes, Yay. it will be. Yeah. Alex uh, Hoaxy, is that how you say it? Huh? Alice. Oh, Alice. Hi, Alice. Uh, Sonia um, K. Okay, so here's Sally one thing I am noticing. Robson? So this carpet color mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, is what? You tell us. It, I can't, yeah, it I changes can't, all the time. It's it, what's it, on the lighting. It depends on the lighting. Okay. <laughs> it it, it, it yeah. does any color that you Beautiful. want. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's, here's what I'm thinking. blues and browns. <laughs> Let's just say you want to put different carpet in that room. Uh -huh. Bring this in that room. Is it yeah. the same thing that you have on yes. the other side? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I love to do things in odd numbers. If you notice, the Lord does things symmetry by using odd numbers. Yes. So when you do floral arrangements, it's three of one type of flower or one flower or five. It creates symmetry. Mm -hmm. So this would be the third room then with mm -hmm. the same carpet color. Same carpet color. Uh, okay. So I would bring this okay. into the family room. I wonder if we can figure out what the carpet yeah. color was. How long worth? ago was that? Three years ago. Yeah, oh, they probably that. still have it. Do you have the paperwork still? <laughs> probably Possibly. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> we, we usually keep things. Yeah. So. Okay. I, What's helpful, this is what we do. I literally have a filing cabinet yeah, in my basement true. that has rooms. Mm -hmm. And I, oh. each room has its own folder. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. way, I even furniture purchases, I have all of that just so that, oh, you know, the warranty, you know, yeah. is up. And so, and so it just makes it easier. Paint colors. Paint colors, yeah. all of that. It's yeah. in oh. that one. Okay. So anyway, just FYI. Helen Knight is watching. Hi, Helen. Helen Knight. Hi. Um, okay. Mary Beth Davis. Hi, Mary Beth. How's Trent? Give him a hug for me. Um, okay, so that's all in here. Oh, I do want to address one thing. Yes. The quarter round. Yes. That should be white. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. There's no reason why your eyes should be drawn to a quarter round. Ever. Okay. So you always want to do your quarter round the same color as your baseboard. Well, you asked that to me the other day, and I, I, just, I said, understand. don't paint it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, that's why we have you coming here. I, I tend I to be very be much of a bull in a china well, shop. My reason, my reason, though, was if i got to tear the floor up, the quarter round's going to come out. So why paint it now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get that. But when you redo the floor, just make sure your quarter round is the same color okay. as your baseball. All right. That's all. Good point. It just, again, it just makes everything clean and easy and visually just kind of goes, oh, like your eye, your eye just kind of travels <laughs> up, down, and around. Is that it? Else? Mark Van Devine. Oh, hi, Mark. High school classmate of mine. I think generally what I've heard in the past is you want to try to do everything you can to draw your eye up, not down. Right. right? Make the room seem bigger, right. taller. <laughs> so. By the way, your ceilings, the mm -hmm. popcorn ceiling. Uh, Back in style. Oh, Do yeah. not get rid Praise of God. Oh, you it. knew that that was going to happen. Popcorn ceilings are coming back. So keep it. <laughs> yeah. I can never understand like, why that was popular. It's not exactly popcorn. Yeah, though. it's not popcorn. No, it's, it's not like popcorn. It's stippled. It's stippled, yeah. which stippled. I think is great. I love the stippled ceiling. I've never not yeah, liked it. I don't it. mind this. I think it's beautiful. Again, you know why? It dries your eye, dry dries your eye up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I, uh, those are the things I have written okay. down. 
Mary Beth Davis says, Trent loves watching Decorating Date Night with me. Yay! <laughs> So let me know when you want to go shopping. I'm all about that. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. Why not after the painters come? Yes. yes. Yeah, and so okay, when the so painters, that's, that's your brother, right? Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Oh, your brother. His okay, brother. gotcha. Okay, so that's it then? Yeah. We'll say our goodbyes? Yes, we'll say our goodbyes. Right, we just... It's just, we just wave. We just wave. Yeah. Okay. You Let's get come in. in. Are we in the shop? Thanks for coming. Yeah. I don't know. There we are. Yay! Bye. Have a good night. See ya!